The first time I did any fetish modeling, I worked for like a smaller BDSM company when I was maybe six months in porn. And that was nice, but it was very, like, beginner, like, not hardcore at all. And then after I'd been in for, like, a year and a few months, I shot for Kink for the first time. And that was, like, that was my first, like, actual experience in bondage. Um, and What'd then you do with that? I did, I remember it was the first time I'd ever used a spreader bar. And I was like, oh, this actually does something. Because before I was like, and it's just so your legs are open. And I was like, oh, no, your legs get tired. <laughs> um, and that was like the first time I got electrocuted. It was the first time I had been in bondage for like five hours. You know, it was the first time I'd been in bondage for like longer than 30 minutes. Um, obviously like different ties and stuff, but just like it was the longest like scene I'd ever done for that. So it was really fun. Did and they I was, tell you what they were going to do? You kind of get to decide. Like, they knew it was my first scene with them, and I hadn't really had much experience, but that I was, like, very gung-ho. <laughs> so we just, like, did basically whatever I asked that I wanted to try that wasn't, like, super intense. And then after that one, I was just like, oh, more. <laughs> Mm, I feel like it changes all the time. Um, like they're like tiny phases and it's a lot of what I see like other girls posting. I feel like that are in the industry is like heavily influential on it because I'll be like, oh, I never thought of that. That is nice, actually. <laughs> like now I feel like there's like a communal thing where so many girls in the industry now are like, you know what? We all love pee. And I feel like it was, like, two years ago, like, when I first got in, it was, like, not like this. <laughs> and now, like, everyone at the same time has suddenly realized that we're all into one thing. <laughs> so we're going through that right now, yeah. which is nice. I've wanted to shoot for Taboo for a long time because it was one of the, like... I feel like when I got into porn, I wanted to do, like, so much BDSM bondage stuff, and there was, like, there was just, like, kink and taboo and then, like, smaller companies, and so I, like, idolized them so much, and then I worked with kink, um, like, more than 15 times, and I had still not shot for taboo, and I was, like, uh, every month when I see the new magazine, I want it to be me, <laughs> Um, because I love the style of the photography, like, without the bondage, I just love your photography and Victor's and Cynthia's, and so, um, yeah, like, I've just been a fan of the style, but then adding in, like, the BDSM element that I also personally love, that makes it, like, my favorite magazine. <laughs> Very cool. How did you like working with Damon? I loved it. It was super easy. Um, super nice. He was, like, very responsive and, like, making sure I was okay the whole time. And it was all, like, extremely snug without ever, like, feeling uncomfortable. So it was really nice. Yes. Yeah. I did that pre-porn. And I was like, oh. I feel like that, like, sparked something inside. <laughs> Um, and you you still enjoy it? Or you still yeah, I still enjoy it. It's not like my favorite thing now because now it's like, I feel like it's just, you know, it's one of those things it's like I did it so much in like the first two years that it's not like my favorite thing. But now I think it's hotter with girls. Now I'd rather have girls spank me. I think that's hot for the moment. <laughs> Offset was probably, like, before I was in porn and I had, like, a threesome at a party in, like, their basement that was, like, all concrete with, like, two cute boys that I had just met <laughs> that seemed very nice. And they were very nice. <laughs> they were nice men. Um, drove me home and then I remember the next day my mom was like, what happened? Because my knees were, like, black. And I was like, I fell down at the party. Because she, like, knew I was, like, drinking that night before. So I was just like, oh, I, like, fell down the stairs at the party. Yeah. I think both. They both, they're, like, very different. But I feel like it's one of those things because I've done so much 
like BDSM porn now. I want to do more like BDSM modeling and photography because I feel like I'm like I'm like I've done this. So it's like you know, it's not that I want to break from that, but it's always like whatever's new is exciting. I'm not, and I think the idea is interesting, but I've never met anyone that I would want to be in that relationship with. Um, so I think it would have to take like meeting the right person for it, you know?